Uh, welcome to the official BMW IBO World Cup press conference after women's mass start here in Oberhof, Germany. With us, the winner, Kaisa Mekerainen of Finland, second place, Thierry Lekov of Norway, and third place, Marte Olsberg Reusland, also of Norway. Kaisa, can you tell us what went so wrong so far this season and what went so well today? Uh, it was really difficult conditions today and I was not thinking that it's possible to shoot so well. But um, I was patient in the both standings. I used a lot of time. Somebody would say too long time, but uh, if you hit all the targets in, in standing in this weather, even though if you wait and wait and wait, then it's worth it. And yeah. Did you draw on the experience and also on the fact that your home shooting range is also in, in windy conditions? <laughs> yeah, Kontialahti is windy, but it's nothing compared to Oberhof. Oberhof is special. It's very special. It's only a few times in my career when I have been shooting well here. Normally I shoot a lot of penalties. And, uh, but I like uh, how we come to the range, the approach. It's a little bit same like in Kontiolahti, so it's a long flat and you need to ski there and it keeps your pulse uh, stable and uh, I have trained a lot in that kind of uh, place, so maybe that helped. How much does this win help you with your eyes on the World Championships? You mentioned these World Championships many times as maybe the turning point of your career. Yeah, uh, it's uh, of course it's good to get some uh, good results before the World Championships. So, but it's the same for everybody. But uh, it's a new day there. In Antholz we compete in the high altitude. It's also special. And um, I spent one week in Antholz before I came here to to get some more training there in the winter time because in the World Cup uh, we don't get so many training days there. So I think it was a good week and um, it was it was good to come from there to here even though it was so much more nice weather there. <laughs> Tyrell knows. <laughs> you are the most experienced competitor today. Do you, while still keeping this level, draw any inspiration from, uh, let's say, experienced champions from other sports, like Serena Williams also won today, this morning? Ah, uh, I don't, unfortunately, follow that much other sports, <laughs> cross country a little bit. <laughs> but um, yeah, like I said, I usually don't shoot that well standing in the strong wind. So maybe I have done something right this summer in the, in the trainings. And um, I don't know, was it about the experience? Uh, I was only patient today and maybe a little bit lucky when in this weather you need a little bit luck in the standing shooting that because the conditions are changing so fast and you have so few few time to make the decision when you shoot. Thank you, congratulations. Thank you. Kirill, uh, you have obviously done more, you good? You have obviously done more good boring training in the Christmas break. <laughs> Can you tell us how did you rest after France and then come back here obviously again in a very good shape um, I rest with very good because uh, um, I got my boyfriend <laughs> there <laughs> and I haven't been with him in one and a half month because he's been sick and <laughs> I've been competing so uh, love is the answer <laughs> 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 and you, you did a, in, I think it was the first loop, you did a spectacular move when you moved from seventh to second, I think, I, in a turn. Can you talk about skiing conditions and how difficult was it to ski on these slopes? Because guys yesterday said they destroyed the skis as well, that it was so hard, the snow. Um, I really enjoy this downhill in Oberhof because I think I'm good at downhill skiing, so uh, 
yeah, I think it was fun to just play around with the girls when they're doing plugging. I don't know the word. What I point is. Laughing. Yeah. <laughs> you also sort of played with Marte the last loop. I mean, you waited. <laughs> <laughs> you waited. No, actually, I was very tired, and she was pushing hard, and I, uh, I knew that uh, Marte is good, uh, and Marte is tough. Uh, so I tried to be as Petter Nordtug uh, asshole and just wait behind. <laughs> <laughs> so, how did you pick the timing? To finally attack. Well, I just waited a long time because in the in until the stadium here, it's a lot of wind coming straight against you, so it's very hard to ski. And Marte pushed hard, and I then I know that I I had to push as well. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you, Marte. When somebody like Tyrrell plays with you behind your back, can <laughs> you? Although uh, at the moment data shows you are the fastest skier, can you respond again once she gets the momentum and goes uh, past you? Oh, I was a bit sad when I heard in the last loop that uh, Tiril was uh, right behind me. <laughs> and I knew that she has a round um, pendly loop more than me. And she was uh, better to, uh, than me today. So I just uh, did my best and tried my best. But uh, Tiril was uh, stronger today. So... Uh, but it was cool that we have uh, a Norwegian fight today. And I'm so glad that we both ended up in the podium. <laughs> Can you uh, continue from um, what Kaiser said? It's nothing like this wind anywhere. So how do you then decide when to shoot? You were all quite patient today, but for you, when do you know? When do you trigger them? Um, I was uh, quite uh, patient on the um, first standing because it was a lot of wind. And I got one uh, pendy loop, and in the last shooting I was uh, far behind, and I saw that uh, Tiril and Kaisa and the other girls were standing, so I just uh, took a chance and uh, and tried to shoot fast in tough condition, and uh, yeah, I got one round, but uh, I don't know the, um, the answer to what we can do here, but I think Kaisa did it in a good way. <laughs> she was standing and she was hitting all targets in standing, and that's uh, impressive. You took a break mid-December, so to, to rest, to free your mind. How do you micromanage your schedule from now on? Uh, yeah, I took a break because I, I need to train a bit uh, before... Uh, many competitions now and before the championship and um, I think um, I did smart and I um, hope I'm getting better and better in the competition that will come. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Any more questions? Thank you very much.